guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Danny so as you can already tell I'm gonna be sharing a huge update on our mobile home so as you can already tell by the title and the thumbnail we did do a really big um, front porch makeover all of this is how it looked like before so as you can tell um, it was really really old um, this porch I think we had rebuilt the front porch like multiple times like three or four times um, since my mom actually bought this place and so um, at this point it was really really bad you can see how old the wood was and I wish I would have taken a picture um, whenever we completely ripped this thing off um, the wood it was like hollow there was nothing in the middle it was I'm surprised that it did not completely fall apart and I'm so thankful that we ended up redoing this porch obviously it was like a safety concern not just aesthetic as far as how it looks and everything it really was a safety concern and the wood was rotting so um, you'll see here in a minute on the side how uh, we just had to like replace a lot of these little boards so it's all like mix and match colors um, and then some of that like that wood right there is just completely like broken off and it was just really bad so I just kind of wanted to give you guys like a really thorough really good look at the stairs and everything um, in a minute here you're gonna see how I'm gonna like step on the board and it was the boards kept coming like loose so my husband had to keep nailing those down and obviously like I said that's not safe so yeah it's it was long overdue something that we definitely needed to do but you guys know how expensive wood has been so this was definitely a project that we had to save up some money for but it was so worth it and very much needed so this is um, I took a couple of clips during just so you guys know we did not build this porch ourselves my husband actually has a friend who does this so we actually decided to hire someone to do it because like I said the front porch had been built multiple times and it was just built um, by my grandpa which he's not like a pro we do appreciate that he did that but we wanted to make sure that this time it would be a porch that would last a very long time as you can see we use like really good wood for this so if you're gonna build a front porch and this is like your forever home I do suggest that you kind of save up as much as you can and use good materials and preferably if you don't know how to do it yourself or you're not really sure just hire a professional like I said save some money um, because in the end um, having to rebuild over and over again you're just wasting money and time on that so if you're able to definitely um, hire someone and make sure they're using good materials so that way it'll last you a really long time and it's not something that you have to keep doing over and over but we're really really happy with this and how it turned out like I said I did not get clips every single day of them building it I tried to get as much as I could and tried to show you guys as many details as possible as you can see just in case you are going to go the route of building it yourself then at least you can see how this one is put together and just kind of get some ideas on that so this took them about a week to make um, it took a little bit longer than they were expecting they were hoping to have it done in a few days but um, as you can see on the roof it the whole porch comes out like from the gable um, so when it came to that part they kind of were struggling a little bit on that so that did end up making it a longer process and everything by the way just in case this is the first video of mine that you are watching um, I will link down below either in the description box or in the comment section um, a previous video that I did of us remodeling the inside of the house so we did a really big remodel on the inside we are going to be continuing to do more things on the inside we're not done yet as well as the outside this is like the first big project that we have done for the outside mainly because um, everything else that I want to do kind of revolves around this like I want to do 
the um, shutters, which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video and kind of show you guys a close up. Um, I want to redo those, do some landscaping, the skirting and everything. So we have a lot of things, but this porch like needed to be number one. So we did this first. All right, guys. So this is the porch all finished. Um, when I say finished, I mean like being built. Uh, we still have to paint it and all of that stuff, but I kind of wanted to show you guys. I think we're going to be painting it this weekend, so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like right now. Just so you guys know, we are going to replace the skirting to the trailer, so um, that's not something that we're going to do ourselves. We're going to hire somebody because we don't really know how to do that. So um, as you can see, we have German Shepherds, so they kind of um, have messed this up pretty bad. But since then, we have built them a kennel, so um, it's not really been an issue since then. And they also have gotten a hold of like digging under here. The lighting is so bad. Um, but you see that hole right there? So they kind of like dig holes in here. Um, but the skirting that we're gonna do is going to run all the way across like right here and cover the bottom. And please excuse like all the background noise. We do live in front of like a busy street. So um, not much I can do about that. But we are gonna run the skirt around here. And then all along like the side right here um, all the way around and then on the other side of the trailer so um, this is just going up the stairs my husband is going to fill in that hole by the way um, so these are the stairs and i do need to do something here we're eventually going to do like some landscaping but um little by little guys because you know that takes time and money but i'm going to try and give you guys a good overview we did have concrete poured down in there to kind of secure the posts a little bit more which um, if I haven't already mentioned it these posts are like really big I did not expect them to use these um, I don't even know what size these are I wish I could tell you but you see those big bolts that they used for that so um, yeah we're really happy with this but there's the stairs and um excuse like the mess up here because like i said we're still kind of working on things over here um also the front door needs to be replaced but yeah so it's really dirty right now like i said we are gonna try and paint it um this weekend it's a four-day weekend for the kids and everything but i do want to see if we can get it pressure washed because it's um been i think like a couple of months since we got this porch done so uh, we were kind of letting the wood i guess you call it like cure so it's been a couple of months. We want to like pressure wash it before we paint it so that it's nice and clean um, before we seal it with paint and all that. But yeah, we're really, really happy with it. Um, I am gonna point out that, um, like I said, we have German Shepherds. And so um, before we built their kennel, that one's kind of crooked. So I might have my husband, um, like some of these posts are like not straight, just naturally. It's not that they're not properly put on. They're just like that. So I might have him search that one out. You'll notice that a couple of them are like that. But um, like I said, before we had the kennel, the dogs got a hold of it almost right away. I was so mad. They started chewing up these things, um, these posts. So my husband, he had to buy more, but as you can see, like we just took these off um, just a couple of days ago. So I think all the way up until this one are the old ones that were chewed up and then he like replaced new ones. For example, that one's like lighter right there. Um, and then we have some extras because I was thinking um, once we are done painting this and everything, our dogs are in the kennels, but I don't like to keep them in there um, all day long. So I wanna build like a door right here let me know if you think that we should build it up here on the top or if you think we should do it down there like on the first step but we're gonna get like hardware with a latch and everything so um, that way whenever we're done painting it and we have our like patio furniture out here then the dogs are not like chewing things up so um, that's why we have a little bit extra there so anyways you can see the difference between the lighter ones that um, the dogs chewed and we had to replace so I'm trying to give you guys like a good look out here also um, like I said we have a lot of things that we got to work on out here um, for example this if you guys know how to get paint off of the like the siding of the trailer let me know because that was a mistake that was done with the other porch that we had up here so I'd like to try and get that off and then of course this door the glass door that was on here before it did break whenever there was like a storm and it like um, slammed up against the door and it broke. 
so um but either way before we had this it was leaking because the other porch did not have like a roof so it would leak and then it would get into like this inside in here on the other side just a little bit but it would get inside but we don't have that issue anymore because now we have the roof up here um which is really really nice and that gap right there they told us that whenever they made it that it was good to leave a little gap like that so that it could kind of like breathe i guess you call it where the heat rises and it feels really cool under here so um i feel like they did a really good job it's so hard to like get a good visual for you guys but um when we paint i'm about to show you guys the paint colors in a minute i think that we're gonna like spray all the way up here i'm gonna buy like a paint sprayer because we had debated on hiring somebody to do it but i feel like we'll save a few hundred dollars for sure if we just do it ourselves plus i need a paint sprayer so for some other home projects so i would much rather just do it ourselves but um let me show you guys the paint that we got for the um porch so for like the oh, let me try and explain it okay i'll start with this one so for the flooring everything that is on the ground the flooring including like all the way down the stairs is going to be like this really dark blue color i don't know if you guys are going to be able to even see it but that's the color right there um the lighting is kind of bad but it's i wanted like a very very dark blue so that's called midnight blue um just because i didn't want to go with gray i wanted a little bit of color but something really dark that would hide like um the dirt and all that and then as far as we have like little little bugs on here but as far as like the rest of it, like the rails and the posts and probably even up there too, I tried to find a color that somewhat matched as close as I could to the panels here on the side. And so I found this one in the color fog. So um, those are the colors that we're gonna go with. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. I'm thinking that we might need to also get some more paint, but I just got one of each for now. So yeah, um, but I feel like it's gonna be really nice once we're done with it. I will kind of update you guys when we're painting it and all of that. I don't wanna show my neighbor's house too much, but um, also obviously you can see that these shutters are like really, really old. Um, there's kind of like a close up there. Those are really, really terrible. And these are original to the mobile home. I do plan on eventually um, actually making some shutters. So I'm gonna make them out of wood. I've never done it before, but I am gonna try to like, try it out <laughs> so that I can save some money. And I'll probably paint them actually the same color that I'm gonna do the floor, like that midnight blue. And I might even, once we replace the door, I might even um, do the door that midnight blue too and then those two lights right there they don't really work and i wanted something a little bit bigger i'll probably stick to the black but um we are going to replace those too but yeah this will be really nice um once it's all done and painted and everything i'll probably put like a patio set on that side maybe even like a outdoor rug here so i'll just do a quick scan over like i said um we are going to be painting it and running the skirting all around the bottom. I know it doesn't look the best right now, but with time, um, we'll get that. We wanna paint first so that the paint doesn't fall onto the siding. Um, that's gonna go around here. So all of that will be painted up here. I'm trying to figure out if I'm just gonna paint it or if I'm gonna do maybe like, um, like wooden planks or something like that, or if I should use the same like type of siding from the trailer. So we'll see um what i end up deciding to do up there you guys are welcome to give me suggestions but yep that's what it looks like and i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that this is a 12 by 15 porch so um i would have gone bigger if i could but you guys know that the price of wood right now is super expensive so we're still really happy with this one you can see over there how the the skirt is like really bad too so still a lot of projects once we're done with the skirting and finished painting and like the um, shutters and all that then I'll do some like really pretty landscaping and stuff but uh yeah we have a lot of a lot of plans but it's just gonna have to happen slowly over time but anyways thank you guys for watching this video I will um be posting more videos on the porch and everything so make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on um all of those videos and all of the updates that we're going to be doing here so thank you guys again for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed 
and I will see you guys in the next one.